Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Renowned for its excellent maneuverability at all speeds, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, also known as the Warthog, or the Flying Gun, is one of the greatest marvels of American engineering. It was specially designed for close air support of ground forces. The A-10 Thunderbolt is highly effective against light maritime attack aircraft and all ground targets, including tanks and other armored vehicles. A GAU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun is mounted on the nose of the Warthog, which fires 3,900 high-explosive incendiary rounds per minute. Apart from that, the A-10 Thunderbolt can employ a wide variety of conventional munitions, including general-purpose bombs, laser-guided bombs, AGM-65 Maverick, and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, rockets, and illumination flares. The Warthog can be operated from austere bases with limited facilities near battle areas. The U.S. Air Force carries out training for the pilots to successfully perform austere landings with the A-10s on unimproved surfaces. like dirt, grass, sand, or any other type of rugged terrain. The pilots perform unimproved surface landings to simulate the conditions of a deployed environment. In a combat situation, the controllers and pilots with austere landing capabilities can land aircraft anywhere in enemy territory. The U.S. Air Force claims that they can deploy A-10s pretty much anywhere around the world. Airmen from all over the U.S. gather in the woods of Michigan's Upper Peninsula to practice landing a military aircraft on a civilian highway and then taking off again. This exercise is carried out to prepare airmen to land in austere environments, like the Pacific Islands, where the only available runways will be a dirt strip or an ordinary road. The senior Air Force leaders are already taking necessary measures and training pilots to overcome such hurdles in the future. Last year, the Air Force landed four A-10 attack planes on a closed-off portion of Michigan State Highway M-32. It was the first time any Air Force aircraft internationally landed on a civilian roadway on U.S. soil. However, this year the United States Air Force took a step further by practicing an integrated combat turn. The airmen rearm and refuel the jet while the engine is still running, so the aircraft can take off again and rejoin the fight. This demonstration requires air crew to collaborate and pull it off without the usual facilities provided by a large airbase. Taking off and landing an aircraft on the highway requires more than a pilot. A team of air combat controllers provides ground support for the A-10s, allowing them to practice austere landing capabilities. 
air combat controllers are among the most highly trained personnel in the U.S. military. The mission of a combat controller is to deploy into combat environments undetected and to establish assault zones or airfields while simultaneously conducting air traffic control, fire support, commanding control, and reconnaissance in the joint arena. Well, this is definitely different. If you look at the environment, if you look at the uh, uh, where the airplanes have to land, how they turn around, how they do their takeoff and landing calculations, that's all different in a scenario like this. So this gives us the opportunity to go through the planning, the preparation, and then the execution. A-10 isn't the only aircraft that has landed on the highway. The C-145A Skytruck an aircraft capable of short takeoffs and landings to unprepared runways, created history by landing and taking off on a closed 9,000-foot section of Michigan Highway M28. On June 29, 2022, several progressive training scenarios were conducted on the Michigan Highway. The maintenance crews also performed a series of integrated combat turns with the C-145A Skytruck for the very first time in history. Later, the crews also conducted ICTs with a C-146A Wolfhound during Northern Agility 22-1, a historic exercise that prepares the United States Air Force's airmen to generate combat power anywhere, anytime, and execute missions in unpredictable ways. C-146A also took off and landed on the Hawk LZ temporary landing zone on the Michigan highways. After the successful landing of the A-10, it was high time for the United States Air Force to practice landing an airlifter like the C-130J Hercules on a highway. The main motive was to practice supporting tactical jets while operating in an environment where conventional runways may not be available. On September 13, 2021, a C-130J landed on U.S. Route 287, north of Rawlings, Wyoming. The public road was closed off to allow safe operations by the four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft. During the exercise, different units undertook various missions, including cargo drops, high-altitude paratrooper tasks, and delivery of artillery. The C-130J also resupplied ground task forces, Several A-10s were involved in this demonstration, providing top cover for the airlifter as it conducted its personnel recovery mission. The U.S. forces hold readiness exercises to evaluate how quickly they can process and deploy to support combatant commanders globally. The United States Air Force's 354th Fighter Wing has transformed into a fifth-generation fighter wing with the completion of its F-35 fleet. On May 20th, 2022, the members of the 354th Wing participated in a routine readiness exercise at Eielson Air Force Base in Alaska. They rapidly generated and launched the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-35A Lightning II fighter aircraft. The demonstration allowed the airmen to enhance their readiness capabilities in response to potential emergencies.
Military forces need to react quickly in the event of a threat. Aircraft scrambling is a military aviation technique used to get an airplane off the base as fast as possible. It basically involves a pre-positioned aircraft at the airport or runway, ready to depart at the 11th hour. Ideally, a scrambled aircraft can take off in less than five minutes. It is placed with the engines off and flaps retracted. This helps the aircraft to quickly attain the necessary speed for takeoff, even if the runway is shorter or the conditions are challenging, such as bad weather. Apart from that, the United States Air Force also conducts refueling units alert scramble exercise to enhance airmen's response in emergencies. Airmen from the 134th Air Refueling Wing participated in a generation exercise on April 1 and 2, 2023. They responded expeditiously to a KC-135 strato tanker during a routine operation readiness exercise. The airmen sat in the vehicles and reached the desired location at a moment's notice. The KC-135 provides the core aerial refueling capability for the United States Air Force and has excelled in this role for more than 60 years. Due to this unique asset, the USAF is capable of accomplishing its primary mission of global reach. Air Force conducts several exercises and refuels tactical aircraft like F-15C, F-35A Lightning II, and F-16s mid-air. Being ready for an emergency is one thing, but deploying troops on the battlefield timely is the most important part. CV-22 Osprey is a next-generation special operations insertion and extraction platform. It enables the U.S. Air Force to operate in a high-risk combat environment to rescue downed pilots or insert and extract special operations forces behind enemy lines. When the Air Force requires getting special forces soldiers into or out of a tight spot, it uses the Fast Rope Insertion Extraction System, or FRIES. A helicopter hovers over the ground and drops heavy ropes, allowing soldiers to slide into the drop zone quickly. War is uncertain, which is why the U.S. Air Force trains its airmen to be prepared for any tough situation. In most cases, runways are not available in hostile lands. The USAF pilots are trained to successfully do austere landings and takeoffs without much support from the combat controller. Moreover, the United States Air Force conducts readiness exercises yearly for its forces to tackle any emergency quickly and efficiently. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.